Hello advanced fiddlers! We're working on a right hand focus again today. This time we're talking about finger placement, how to hold the bow, which might seem really really elementary, but every once in a while we get so far into our playing that it's worth taking a few steps back and seeing are we still doing what we think we're doing or has our playing slightly evolved or have we changed a position? So how are we holding our bow? And this week I'd like you to focus, I keep saying this week, today I'd like you to focus on practicing in front of the mirror and take a look at what's happening with this hand. So as you're playing through the A section, I'm looking in the mirror and I'm looking to see what does my hand do as I play? I want to make sure that pinky stays on the bow, two and three are still together, one is nice and relaxed and over the string, and then most importantly, did my thumb stay bent? So in that approach, you're going to start your practice by looking at what is the right hand doing, and you're going to end your practice by looking at what right hand is doing. In the middle, I want you to take off first finger and pinky, and approach the same A section. <laughs> Again, this brings us back to conscious practice about the thumb and is are both joints of the thumb bent which helps keep that wrist open or am I playing with a straight thumb which gives me a straight hand and the second thing I want you to ask yourself is where's your hand placed on the bow are fingers two and three over the stick covering the C cutout or do we have more of a superficial hold where I'm, I'm pulling those fingers back and by pulling those fingers back, I bend that wrist. So where am I placing my hand on the bow? Is two and three sunk right in? Or do I have, again, more of a superficial hold? And by superficial, I just mean you're kind of lightly holding the surface, but you're not sunk into the stick. Lastly, what's Pinky doing? Pinky's crucial because it ends up being the teeter-totter balance to the first finger weight. But if Pinky comes off, or leans too far over, it locks the wrist just as badly as a straight thumb does. So use the mirror practice as a focus on what is my hand doing and watch it as an observer. Don't watch it as a teacher or as a player that you want to fix it. Be aware of what your hand's doing and what might change when you play and then on the second or third approach to it then start approaching adjusting that hand. But first, just give yourself a lot of grace and watch what happens as you play. Give yourself room to just be the observer. If you don't give yourself that chance, we get really hyper-focused on improvement and change, uh, but we're not entirely aware even of our starting point. So that's where I'd like you to go with this. Once you get into the second section, I want you to switch up your hold again. You're using first finger, second, and the bent thumb or what I call the Jerry Holland. You have no ring finger on the bow, no pinky. And again, it's forcing thumb to really bend at both joints and be very conscious of what thumb's placement does. Can't quite see me here. But I'm playing at the upper middle to the tip. fluid and relaxed. So try that. Let me know how it goes. Thank you so much for all the videos that you're sending in the posts, everybody's opinion. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what's working for you, what's giving you trouble, and we'll see you tomorrow.